Good morning, folks. We've got a number of articles to get through today. Volcanoes, weather to watch, and the Perseid meteor shower is peaking through the end of this week. Well, let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were utterly calm once more. Large dark coronal hole turning across, no flashes, no ejections, and indeed, the solar flaring is still flatlined. Goes 15, still not even trying. Top eruption threat as we approach the weekend are the incoming plasma filaments, one standing tall at the limb and another thin rope visibly already turning onto the earth-facing disk. Solar wind here, the downward trend to calm continues as all facets of the electric field telemetry are in calm, ambient, quiet conditions, including Earth's magnetic field. Next disruption is due from that coronal hole. Solar wind expected to arrive at Earth tomorrow or Saturday, producing aurora and low-level geomagnetic storms. Top lithospheric note of the last day is twin volcano eruptions in Costa Rica. One of them was Torrealba, but it wasn't one of its bigger blasts. Let's begin the articles at our feet and work our way up. The Ross Sea, South Pacific, near the Amundsen Sea Low. A terrific piece on how the glaciers are not retreating, and in fact, they've had anomalously high sea ice there trending for years. As the Perseid meteor shower peaks over the coming days, it may be helpful to know the chemical composition producing the specific color of light you see associated with any given fireball. Stepping up a bit higher to Mars where the Curiosity rover snapped these photos, eerily reminiscent of Earth's cirrus clouds. 1% of Earth's atmosphere, right? Right. We've got four new Earth-sized planets, and unlike the TRAPPIST-1 discovery, they are not all closer to their tiny star than Mercury. This is the closest sun-like star known to exist, only 12 light-years away, and it's got to set up pretty darn near what our inner system looks like in terms of size and distance to the star. Let's quickly come back down because it is worth noting that landmass usually spells the end of hurricanes. This one's going to skip right over the mountains and into hotter waters where it is expected to re-strengthen into another legitimate storm system. Folks, last night's second video results are coming back and you have voted that indeed NOAA is guilty of willful, repeated manipulation of the visual aids used to support publicly marketed climate claims. If you didn't see last night's video, it was an issuance of recognition regarding shenanigans. And for the wankers that said we couldn't have a vote without giving them proper process, they've been ignoring our emails for years, which is cause for summary judgment. I put it to a vote anyway. Let's see last night's video if you missed it. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.